1912 saw the beginning of Sea Scouting in America. Originally, the program was aimed at older boys who had graduated from Boy Scout troops. Membership required that a boy be 15 years old and weigh at least 112 pounds. In 1924, Tacoma Sea Scouts formed their first ship, number 110, named the Flying Cloud. When Ship 110 first started, the focus was on land-based activities, limiting youth to the use of private vessels for training. With bands, marching teams, and participation in community service and events, the unit was an integral part of Tacoma. In 1930, a young man named Lawrence Berglund joined Sea Scouting. In July of 1946, he, together with Charles Curtis, the Mount Rainier Council Boy Scout chief executive, helped acquire a decommissioned 78-foot motor patrol boat from the U.S. Coast Guard. The boat, named the Charles N. Curtis, also the name assumed by the unit, is still in use today. It was an all-male crew and focused on cruising and regional regattas. The 1980s brought many changes. The Curtis gave up her recreational status and became a licensed T-boat under the U.S. Coast Guard. This new status meant even more focus on standards, training, and conduct. We also finally had enough female volunteers to change over to a co-educational group. Today, Sea Scouts are a diverse group of youth that engages in challenging activities both on and off the water. And after 100 years, it remains a place for youth to touch the sound. <laughs>